Hey YouTube, it's your girl Yaya. I'm coming back today with a uh, Louis Vuitton replica from DHgate that I actually won from another YouTube, which I will um, link down her YouTube cha channel down below. So anyway, I won this awesome Louis Vuitton replica from um, this YouTuber. And when I got it, it had a very funky, funky, funky smell. I can't even begin to tell you how gross it smelled. It's not her fault. It's because it is cheap PVC leather. Um, and when I was looking up ways of trying to clean it, it, I mean, all I heard was vinegar, use vinegar, soak it in vinegar. I did that. I did the Arm & Hammer powder. I stuck it in there. It just seemed like it just got worse and worse and worse. So I ended up vacuuming all the, the Arm & Hammer powder and drying it out and I ended up putting my hubby ended up buying me these balls um, I'm not sure what they're called but you can get them at Walmart and they're actually for shoes so I ended up putting those in there and then I came upon this stuff the unstoppable downy amazing you want to get the smell out of things and there's going to be another video about this um, for household stuff. But anyway, you want to get the smell out of something. This is amazing. So what I did was put in one of these little mesh bags and I stuck it in my purse. And my purse um, smells good all the time now. So um, I'm pretty sure the smell is pretty much gone. I don't really smell it anymore. All I can really smell is this. But it did say that with the PVC um leather um it can take up to three weeks to really get the smell out okay um so anyway besides that um i ended up like i said winning this from another youtuber and it actually came in the color tan with the red and obviously the gold hardware which is not the prettiest but i've been um, working on it and painting it black just to kind of make it look a little nicer. Not that I'll probably use it, but just in case, I'm gonna roll it up in my bag and I might use it. So anyway, so this, all this here was like that tan color. It was all this color, okay? I ended up buying acrylic paint from Walmart. I think it was a dollar something, which is, this is what it's called. And I bought the licorice color which was um, superior coverage, satin finish, acrylic paint, about a buck at Walmart, okay? And I painted this purse. Oh, about this too. Yeah, don't use nail polish to try to clean because uh, I rubbed some of the lettering off. But I ended up painting it and it turned out to be such a beautiful, beautiful bag that I absolutely love besides this part right here. Um, it turned out to be such a pretty bag. I mean, everything is just beautiful. Well, I painted it and I took it out for a couple days and then I started seeing some of the paint rub off. So, me trying to figure out a cheap way to figure out how can I keep the paint on the handles and so it doesn't rub off anywhere, I was thinking about hairspray and then I was like, well, no, I know I got it for free. I know I want it, but I don't want to, you know, use hairspray. It. I went to where I bought this same section and I bought this matte finish acrylic sealer. And so far everything has stayed on nicely. Nothing's rubbing off. You can't scratch it. I mean, and, and I actually coated the whole purse with this, obviously because these, LVs are painted on and that's where I did a little boo-boo here um, but that way hopefully you can keep it from fading away so yes if you have any questions comment down below and I will get back to you guys but seriously it's a simple fix for a replica uh, Louis Vuitton bag I'll see you guys next time